Canada Addiction Forum was founded in 2013 to provide clinicians with improved skills and education when it comes to dealing with patients battling mental health and addiction. After a two-year pandemic pause, this two-day event is back in Kelowna. It's not okay for people not to be able to get help. And so how can we get as many of our healthcare providers feeling more and more comfortable in addiction, but also getting out there and saying the same thing. It's, it's time for us to let politicians know enough is enough. Um, people shouldn't have to wait to get help. Dr. Tangay says the two-year COVID break actually helped members of the WCAF better understand what it's like for those dealing with mental health and or substance use. Our whole job is about helping people who are struggling with isolation and mental health and addiction. And then we, as, as treatment providers, got to see what it was like to go through that process of being isolated and uh, the struggles with it. Uh, so it's exciting for us to all get together again. Those on hand at the WCAF in Kelowna heard from guest speakers who answered questions from the crowd. Booths were also set up at the venue where people like Nirmala Renigo were stationed sharing information on her treatment facility in Squamish. We have seen people can heal. And the way we would do this is through compassion, through um, non-judgment, providing that collective collaborative approach to treating mental health and addiction. The founder of Paradise Valley Healing Center and her team have treated mental health and addictions for three decades with that very approach. She says when dealing with those who don't want to receive treatment, it's important not to attach conditions and to stay committed to helping that person. It is a process. It's an ongoing process support and that's why um, resources are provided to the individual whether they go to meetings, whether they continue to see a therapist, uh, often and treatment centers, family members are invited to participate in how to support the loved one. On Thursday, the BC government announced the investment of $2 million towards the improved quality of care in mental health and substance use treatments. Jaden Wozni, Global News, Kelowna.